Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugensiki and Novorossi, and I'm gonna go over a few little tips and tricks I use to seal the carburetors on my Novorossi engines. So the first thing I do is I like to run a zip tie around the boot. Um, that way it just helps secure and make sure that the boot's sealed so that you can't have any air leak around the boot, help keep a little bit more consistent tune. And then the next thing is I seal around the base of the carburetor. Now you can use either a high temp silicone or I like to use um, Lucky 7, I believe it's called Air Seal, but you can get this from A-Main Hobbies or through TKO. Uh, so basically I just take the Air Seal and run a thin bead right along the O-ring. Now it's not totally necessary to do this, but it's just a precaution that you know, in the long run it can help make for a little bit more consistent tune. Um, if you have any excess you can just kind of wipe it with your finger, make sure you have a nice smooth bead all the way around. And then you go ahead, install the carburetor on the engine, make sure that you get the proper orientation for the vehicle that you're using. And then from there, you just take and tighten down the pinch bolt. This doesn't have to be super tight, but it needs to be snug. And then from there, I just take the air seal, put a little bit on both sides of the pinch bolt, and then just take like a 1.5 millimeter wrench. Again, smooth it out so you have a nice thin bead. And uh, let that sit and dry for about an hour, and you're able to bolt it in and start the break-in process.